Welcome to Dude RV. This morning, we are loaded up, ready to hit the road. We're gonna do something that we have not done in about six years. That is, we're going to go back to a state park that we've been to already, a Texas state park that we've been to already. When we first started our Texas state park mission, I uh, was in Huntsville State Park. That was the very first park that I have shot with the intention of giving you a deep dive into the Texas State Park system. Well, I didn't do a very good job. Quite frankly, that video sucked. So, we're headed south with another destination as our final point. But on the way, we're going to stop at Huntsville State Park and I'm going to give you the deep dive from the dude RV, RV from the dude RV perspective, the deep dive into Huntsville State Park. So let's get on the road and go to Huntsville State Park. Huntsville State Park. We made it. Man, what a drive that was. That's gotta be some of the worst wind that I have driven the Miss, Miss V into. It was hitting us on the passenger side front the whole way. Whew. Man, anyway, here we are, Huntsville State Park. Quick site review. And this is our second site. The, the sites here are so they're all so on level that we, we couldn't couldn't use the first site, which was up there. So we're in site number 52. Lots of beautiful pine trees, water and electric with an asphalt pad. And as I said, it, it is, it, it's not level. It's more level here than in the other one. But, I mean, we are literally lakeside. Got a concrete picnic table, the ubiquitous lantern hook, and a, and a firewood burner. And I gotta tell you, it was really, really tough getting this one level. It took us three shots and about 30 minutes to find optimum and I've been doing this a while. It's very deceptive the way this side is laid out. You can see how much adjustment was required to get us even close to level. It's December 27. December 27, 2020.
And as you saw when we pulled in from the when you saw, as you saw on the driving footage at the front gate, this place is busy, busy. All right. We got to go get our sights reassigned, have a bite to eat, and then we'll go see some stuff. We're at Huntsville State Park. Huntsville State Park. If you're coming out here during the buggy season, you'll be happy to know. They have some really cool screen shelters. And what's even more impressive is that these screen shelters have RV connections as well. So that's something that we haven't seen in a whole lot of Texas state parks where you can get a screen shelter and have RV connections. Unfortunately, the park staff has found it necessary to post a sign on the way in saying that uh, be respectful of your neighbors and don't play your music too loud. I guess that means that just like today, someone has to blast their music and force us to listen to their stuff. So I gotta talk fast, that way I don't get a copyright strike. At Huntsville State Park, there is a lake, and you might want to do some boating. So there's a boat ramp, and a courtesy dock. So we'll go take a look at that. Huntsville State Park. There's somebody that got a little uh, inflatable kayak, or inflatable pontoon boat out there. Courtesy dock, and a boat ramp. For my boat ramp fans, let's go see some more stuff. So Huntsville State Park. Huntsville was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps originally back in the 1930s. And as with most of our Texas state parks that were built by the CCC, there is a pavilion with the dance floor. Ooh bright sun uh, it's December 26th no this that's the day after Christmas wait a minute it is December 27th 2020 and this park is just absolutely crazy busy so here we are we have the dance pavilion and this is one of the few that we've been to so far that actually is right on the water. So you can boot right up to the dance. Now I don't know if they're still holding a dance at this one, but in the in the 30s when this was when the CCC was building parks, they would hold a dance every Saturday night for the the workers and the local residents to have some fun. So stately. Let's go see some more stuff. So if you're visiting Huntsville State Park, you'll be happy to know if you're bringing your kids, there are lots of activities for them here. You got these cool wood play structures, slides and swings. And surprisingly enough, they're open. Most of the places we've been this year, the playgrounds have been closed. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Huntsville State Park. Hard to believe it's in the December, it's 72 degrees. People run around in shorts, t-shirts, So if you're coming out to Huntsville State Park and you want to get on the water and not get in the water, you can always rent one of these mini canoes, kayaks, or paddle boards. Big kayaks. A 
looks like the paddle boards are closed but I wonder how they get out there this park is not very scooter friendly by the way Howdy. let's go see something else let's go see some more stuff well after a full day of driving and driving <laughs> we get to enjoy the beautiful i know the colors don't come through on on the camera nearly as vivid as they are actually are such a pretty sunset Huntsville State Park is a very pretty park. But I gotta tell you, it is, it is a busy park. So I'm gonna put the camera down and cook some supper. See you tomorrow. Good morning, Huntsville State Park. Man, man, oh man, check this out. What a way to start your day. Watching the sun come up. Man, get ready to cook up some bacon and eggs, baby. A few videos back, I was talking about the, the griddle and getting it level. So this is an ideal place <laughs> to demonstrate how that all works. So I've got the two by six to bring up the end of the table. I got a paint stick there to get it level that way. But then I had to bring in two paint sticks here to get it as close to level as possible that way when i'm cooking bacon the grease goes into the grease hole and doesn't pile up somewhere else all right so now you know how to level your griddle what a beautiful morning stay tuned more to come huntsville state park as do most texas state parks has a very extensive hiking trail network. I don't think any of those are, or too many of them are going to be scooter friendly. So here at the, the Nature Center, they have an amphitheater. It, it, it's Monday, Monday morning early. 
the nature center is not currently not currently open it seems to me that there is something of significance with this obelisk <laughs> this wooden obelisk but there's not a sign telling me what is significant about it I'm thinking maybe bats is it a giant bat house ah it's a chimney swift nest site research project okay so at Huntsville State Park they are still operating on the donation firewood firewood for donation principle they don't have a wood shack vending machine yet so you want to make sure you get your firewood bef before they close the office all right now you know well we've come to an end of to the end of our visit here at Huntsville State Park very beautiful park really quiet uh, considering it's so close to the highway, you don't hear any road noise at all. My, the biggest dis detractor here for me, well, there's two. One is the sights are so tough to get. They're so, they're so uneven. It's so hard to get your, your RV level. Uh, and the other detractor, you know me, I'm, I'm an end of the road kind of campground dude. I like it when it, the park is empty. And even Monday after Christmas, this park is still really busy. Weather's scheduled to change, so we're gonna we're cutting our visit a little bit short. We're gonna go on down to the next one uh, and get some get the video. We're gonna go to the next park, Village Creek State Park, and get the video shot there while we still have some sunshine before the rain starts. So, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, hey, I'd, I'd appreciate you clicking on that subscribe button and hit that bell as well because if you don't want to miss another episode of dude rv and for those of you who have been following along i am so deeply honored this is why I, we do what we do such a beautiful campground i love i love these texas piney woods all right with that being said i'm rambling now <laughs> Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs>